Hello everybody. I'm going to give you another gardening update. I don't know what this is, but I'm trying to make sort of a... I'm trying to make sort of a bonsai out of it, but I don't know what that is. This is crazy. Now, apparently cherry tomatoes turn into like a big kind of bush. This is an enormous bush. It's only two plants. I only, I only planted... I ended up having, out of the 10 seeds that I got from the, it wasn't the dollar store, it was actually the dollar section at Target. You know, there's a Target store and there's a section that's a dollar. So I got the, you know, little kit, it was a dollar. But this is, you know, incredible. Look, I'm, I'm as tall as the, the plant is taller than me. I'm 5'4". This plant is taller than I am, this part. So, um... And it's covered in tomatoes. I mean, some are red. They're, every day I pull off about five or six tomatoes, but they're all over. The little tomatoes are everywhere, just everywhere you look. And it's starting to spread out. It's like encroaching everywhere. It's just, it's amazing. I'm so happy about this. You know, they're little cherry tomatoes, but they're everywhere, everywhere you look. I mean, there must be a hundred on the plant now. And, you know, and they're tasty. They're natural, they're organic. I didn't use any pesticide or anything. I just, basically, this is the kind of garden I like, the, the wild garden. You just plant and whatever grows, grows. That's my, that's my way of gardening. <laughs> so, so that's been a success out of all the plants I planted. The celery has been a relative success in that, okay, it's not really, edible. I mean, this is these are the stalks that ended up coming out. I'm going to wait and at the end of summer I'm going to dig it up and I'll probably have a good celery root, which is um what's that? Oh, I've never seen clover look like that before. I'm going to let it grow. It's like a turned into a clover stalk as well. But anyway, um you know, there and the stalks that I do have are very hard. They're not even crunchy. They're like completely fibrous and But here's the good thing about it. Notice how it's getting eaten There's a little bunny rabbit that comes and nibbles on it And sometimes in the morning when I come out he sees me and he runs away So I like that. I like having the celery here and if the bunny rabbit is enjoying it, that's great So apparently he pulls off a stalk and he, he enjoys eating it. So that's fine with me It's not something I'm gonna eat and the other thing I like is that it's grown so much that it's grown into flowers and it attracts bees. Uh, mainly the carpenter bees that are living in the, on the, you know, roof. But this morning I came out, let's see if I can see one. It might start, start getting too hot so they go back home, but yeah, there's one. For example, here. This morning I came out and, um... I found each flower, each section of flowers had an ant on it. And that's also good. That Apparently they're collecting the nectar like bees do, taking it back to their um, nest. And there's less now. But this morning, each little section of flowers had an ant on it. And, you know, that they're helping fertilize. So I'm just going to let this plant grow and die by na however nature intends it to. But perhaps seeds will fall, and then when next spring, let's see if I just get wild celery plants. And if they're attracting bees, they've got to be good. And the ants, you know, are living there. And I'm also wondering if this is acting as a decoy from my tomatoes, because my tomatoes are not getting eaten by the animals or ants or anything. You'd think the ants would be going crazy on the tomatoes. But perhaps, it's my theory, the celery is acting as a decoy. So the ants come over here and eat the celery. They're attracted by the, um, you know, flowers, and perhaps they're not eating my tomatoes because I, there is absolutely no, no evidence of any animals eating the tomatoes, and they're they're luscious and delicious. So maybe that's a natural pest control. I don't know. That's my theory. We'll see as time progresses. And two other developments are, I have an apple tree here. I didn't know what it was, but I'm pretty sure that's an apple tree. Because I did remember planting some apple seeds. And over here's another apple tree. It's probably a different kind of apple tree. Which I had started in a pot. 
and it, this is the part when it was living in the pot and I transplanted it to the ground and now this part is what's grown since I've transplanted it to the ground. Notice the difference. So he's apparently a lot happier here. Can you see him? Right here. This is the part when I transplanted it. This is the part that's grown. This was the part when he was living in a pot. So you can tell the difference. It's so much nicer up here. And these are two peach pits which I'm going to let dry out here. Here's the other one. And I'm probably going to end up planting those as well. You know, if you break open the peach pit, inside is the seed. So, but I'm going to let them kind of hang out here and dry up and maybe plant them in the fall. And this is, see, this is the tomato plant encroaching on the whole garden. So that's my garden update. Thanks for watching.